grabbed me. She grabbed her in between. I grabbed her head into my breast. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> and we made love all afternoon and went dancing at night. <laughs> oh. that and it. that was the beginning. When was it? About 1962. I suddenly couldn't take it anymore, and I called an old friend of mine, a very good friend, and I said, if you know where the lesbians go, please take me. And somebody brought Thea over and introduced her, and we ended up dancing. And we immediately just fit. Our bodies fit. Well, I mean, we've had 42 years. Yeah. And then when I had this bad prognosis, that essentially it was so bad, let me say it, that I had about another year to live, and that was it. Having gotten the bad prognosis, she woke up the next morning and said to me, do you still want to get married? And I said, yes. She said, so do I. As the years go by, that feeling of attraction stays the same. Each one of us, in fact, looks different from how we looked when we met. But if I look at Edie now, she looks exactly the same to me. Exactly same, and she'll say the same thing the other way. I, Thea Spire, I, Thea Spire, choose you, Edie Windsor, to be my lawful wedding spouse, the richer and the poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, and until death do us part. Until death do us part. That's a clip. Prognosis, she woke up the next morning and said to me, do you still want to get married? And I said, yes. She said, so do I. Essentially, it was so bad, let me say it, that I had about another year to live, and that was it. Max. Yeah, max another year to live. Yeah. And that was it. And then, immediately, soon as doctor had left the room, I, I just knew it. Yeah, and now, and quick. Usually, people do this because they're making a commitment, as they say, at the beginning of their lives. For us, it's at the other end. I'm always very active with gay stuff, and I work as a marriage ambassador for ESPA. And, uh, but I went to marriage equality meeting, and I went to see, I knew some of them had been married in Canada. And I went and I asked if anybody knew, how do I go about getting an officiant? Harvey Brownstone, he's Canada's first openly gay judge, uh, and he's just a honey, you know. So we're thrilled to be married by him. I had to get the air tickets for everybody and the hotel rooms for everybody. And then I spoke to somebody in their sales department. I did not tell her it was a same-sex marriage. I just emailed her to say I don't want any figures on the cake because I have figures for the cake, which is us. I also had a very strong feeling this would be my last trip on a plane ever. And um, I was very emotional about that. We want to do the vows, and we want to exchange breaks. And, uh, and I've ordered the, the standard vows very little. OK, from this moment forward. And I just added, as in, day, as in days past. And that we call each other lawfully married just spouse. Just lawfully married spouse. And okay. I hereby pronounce you married. OK. And, uh, it's a very small change. Yeah. We would and, like to do it in the most classical fashion possible. Yeah. For Thea to put a ring on my finger is not easy. I could say that. Yeah. Is it impossible? Okay. So two of the two of the best women will hold her arm and okay and put the ring in it and move it out toward me and I will slide in. Okay. And we're both dying to say with this ring I be with. As the years go by, that feeling of attraction stays the same. Each one of us, in fact, looks different from how we, went, we looked when we met. But if I look at Edie now, she looks exactly the same to me. Exactly the same. And she'll say the same thing the other way. Dear friends and family of Edie and Thea, we are gathered together today to witness a very happy and long-awaited event. 
Edie and Thea, you are here to obtain legal and societal recognition of your decision to accept each other totally and permanently. Over the past 41 years, you have been dancing. You have come to know and love each other. You have found joy and meaning together. And you have chosen to live your lives together. Now you seek to unite in marriage. And to this moment, you have brought the fullness of your hearts, the dreams that bind you together, and that particular personality and spirit which is uniquely your own. I, Thea Spire. I, Thea Spire, choose you, Edie Windsor, to be my lawful wedded spouse. The richer and the poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. For as much as you, Edith Windsor, and Thea Spire, have consented together in wedlock and have pledged your faith and your trust to each other in the presence of these witnesses and having confirmed the same by what you have said and by the giving and receiving of rings now therefore i harvey brownstone judge of the ontario court of justice by virtue of the power vested in me under the marriage act of ontario do hereby pronounce you edith windsor and thea spire to be legally married spouses and partners for life Congratulations.